Red Bull is launching an independent investigation into Christian Horner after allegations of misconduct. We're going to talk about that right now in this video, but before we get into it, my name is Alex Harrington. I'm an FIA accredited journalist. So is Lydia Me to my right. Hello, and if you wanted to follow us on social media, I'm at Lydia Me F1. You are at at Alex does F1, and while you're there, give SIF1 and F1 briefings a follow for all the latest updates. Yeah, so we, uh, we've we just come off the Williams uh, livery reveal, but just before that, news broke that Red Bull is once again finding itself in the centre of a controversy. Now, before we get into anything, it is worth remembering everyone is innocent until proven guilty. Allegations are very different to anything being confirmed. So... Let's not start any hate towards Christian Horner right now. Same with Red Bull. These are just allegations. Nothing has been proven. There will be an independent inquiry by an outside team, not Red Bull itself. And they're going to be looking at what's happened. I mean, anything further than that, we don't actually know what's happened. So we're going to kind of talk about that coming up in this video. Let's first of all start with... um, Uh, a a quote from a spokesperson from Red Bull. They said, after being made aware of certain recent allegations, the company launched an independent investigation. This process, which is already underway, is being carried out by an external specialist barrister. The company takes these matters extremely seriously and the investigation will be completed as soon as practically possible. It would not be appropriate to comment further at this time. So... Okay, we don't know what's happened. We don't know what kind of misconduct it's been. Red Bull, they have a history of things happening, don't they? Helmet Marco. Yeah, I think Helmet Marco is probably the biggest example of maybe pushing the line a little bit. He's obviously been in headlines last year for various comments that he made about Sergio Perez, but the team was quite quick to squash that without an an independent investigation. Mm. And I, I wonder why that is, whether it's because he's not actually employed by Red Bull Racing, yeah, potentially, or these allegations are so serious compared to his um, alleged racism and the comments he made that they actually are f- being forced to uh, undergo this kind of independent assessment. It's It's worth noting also that this is completely independent, unbiased. It's nothing to do with Red Bull. Um uh Christian Horner has responded. He um has simply said, I completely deny these allegations, and that's a statement he made to D Telegraph. Um it's kind of scary. Uh, he's he's gonna maintain his role at Red Bull. Nothing is changing mm-hmm. while this uh well, while this assessment goes through. And obviously as soon as we know more we will update you, but it it's a little worrying because of the helmet Marco stuff. Yeah, it's difficult not to jump to conclusions, but it's very important not to do that. And I think as well, unfortunately, it being quite a public thing and the news coming out at a stage where no one actually knows what those allegations are, it's unfortunately going to spur on some rumours, which is already happening on social media. So don't believe everything you read. (laughs) Yeah. Um. But yeah, it's it's difficult because uh, obviously no one actually knows what these allegations are. It's indicated that it was misconduct against one employee. But, you know, you don't know what the nature of that alleged misconduct is. So it's it's very hard to say. Yeah, look, we we know very little. Um, So it's worth... Uh, and, and you know, people are going to be talking on social media. There are going to be rumours. There are going to be things that people are saying. Right now, this is all we know. So anything above this, anything more that people are saying right now is rumour and potentially not true. So just bear that in mind. Christian Horner is the longest serving team principal on the grid. Uh, he's seen Red Bull, you know, when Red Bull bought Jaguar Racing, he saw them go from uh, a team that was kind of seventh on the uh, on the construct in the constructors championship to seven titles Mm -hmm. there's no doubting that he's incredibly talented and skilled as a manager and and this is the first time anything like this has been said so look things like this happen a lot and it it can ruin people's lives can't it yeah well their careers especially it's i think it's also really hard because a lot of the time with a male 
person like, you know it's against a male person you a lot of people will jump to conclusions which is very important not to do um but yeah even just allegations it can ruin someone's career which is difficult i think them coming out early on as well and doing the independent investigation what's different obviously like you mentioned helmut marco is it the way he's employed is slightly different but he's actually a director of red bull racing yeah hmm. But they also are nipping it in the bud before anything further is leaked, which is the right way of doing it. Yes. Yes, I agree. Mm. I agree. So look, we'll, a quick video because, you know, we don't know much, but it's I, the main focus we wanted to get across was these are the official statements. We know nothing more. And no one apart from a very select number of people within Red Bull and within this independent uh, uh, the barrister and his team will actually know what's going on so everything you see in social media take it with a pinch of salt because yeah it can ruin people's lives and like I said innocent as you're proven guilty that is so important right now the 2024 season is well on the way uh, like I said we've just had the Williams reveal which uh, was a really great um, introduction it was very exciting so hopefully this news Hopefully this news is nipped in the bud, like you said, mm. sooner rather than later. Um, yeah, let's leave you with that. That's all we have for right now. Just take it how it is. I'm not going to ask you to like and subscribe because I feel that's kind of weird on a video like this. But thank you so much for watching. And of course, we'll keep you updated. So stick around. See you in the next video.